I did uh, seven years, eight months in the service. About two years into that, my sister was shot and killed while I was on deployment. And I think that that had a lot to do with um, my anxiety and then my depression. There's nothing like feeling like just trapped, um, trapped in a situation, trapped like a really dark space. And um, there were nights where I just really didn't, or days I really didn't think I could make it through the day. With COVID, it kind of just made it worse because I couldn't get into the VA, you know, when I wanted to or when I needed to. So it was basically, I was alone. Like I was going through everything um, and it seemed almost like nobody cared because there's a lot of people getting out. There's a lot of people need benefits, you know, and at, at some point you're just a number. I was so afraid of myself that I called a friend and I was like, hey, I need you to go get my gun. Um, so afraid of myself that like I couldn't trust myself with it. And I still don't have it just because I know like I still fall back into those um, into that mindset sometimes. A few things that stopped me from taking my own life were, first of all, the family that I do have, uh, my son, his mom, and then uh, my, my mom, really. It was that thought that, you know, my mom just lost a, her only daughter, and, you know, just a few years ago. And then, like, to think that I saw that pain. Do I want to put my mom through that pain again? You know, and then also a lot of people when they're depressed or whatever, they stay in a room and they close their doors and shut their windows and block out and they just want to be in a dark space alone or whatever. And, um, you know, you might ask a depressed person out and they'd be like, no. But it's going to take some strength. Not everybody can really do it. And I'm not saying like this is easy, but you gotta, if somebody, if you're down or whatever, someone is, invites you out, that's something that you should be like, I don't wanna go, but you know, just do it, you know, because that I think can save your life in a way, and they might be saving your life and you don't even know it, you know, or they don't even know it um, because you don't know what those thoughts might have created if you just stayed in that room. And, you know, now you're thinking, suicidal thoughts and now like it's a gun right there and you can just you know it's quick and easy but if you just go out you can kind of avoid those things and maybe calm yourself down and not think about that so much. <laughs>